O oh, black Muslim, O oh, homie of Allah, guess what color the exalted man Muhammad was? Watch this, you'll, you'll be shocked. Pop quiz, who's the whitest prophet in history? You're probably thinking Joseph Smith, founder of Mormonism, right? What if I told you there's a prophet out there who's so white, he makes Joseph Smith look like Malcolm X. He's so white, he makes a bowl of vanilla ice cream yell, get him out of here, he's blinding me. He's so white, his nine-year-old child bride didn't need a nightlight. What if I also told you that this pale, pasty white prophet had black slaves and referred to Ethiopians as raisin heads? Would you call him a racist? Or would you give him yet another free pass because our expectations automatically drop to the floor whenever we discuss the prophet of Islam? people who haven't read the Muslim sources assume that Muhammad was dark-skinned, but Arabs are classified as Caucasians and they can exhibit a variety of shades and tones. So if we want to know what Muhammad looked like, we'll have to go through some of the descriptions of his appearance found in the Hadith. Now, if Muhammad were sitting in a crowd of his fellow Arabs, how would we spot him? Sahih al-Bukhari, number 63. Narrated Anas bin Malik, while we were sitting with the Prophet in the mosque, a man came riding on a camel. He made his camel kneel down in the mosque, tied its foreleg, and then said, Who amongst you is Muhammad? At that time, the prophet was sitting amongst us, leaning on his arm. We replied, This white man reclining on his arm. Hey, which one of you is Muhammad? This white Tom Willis-looking white guy leaning on his white arm. That's who. But let's keep reading about a prophet who makes the Brady Bunch look like N.W.A. Sahih Muslim, 6081. It was narrated that Abu Jahaifa said, I saw the messenger of Allah with a white complexion and some white hairs. White complexion with white hairs. Who knew that Anderson Cooper was a 7th century prophet? Sahih Muslim, 6071. It was narrated from al jurairi from Abu At-Tufail. I said to him, did you see the messenger of Allah? He said, yes, he was white with an elegant face. This guy's so white, he makes Queen Elizabeth look like Queen Latifah. And the Muslim sources go out of their way to remind us how white Muhammad was. They tell us about the whiteness of his shins, and the whiteness of his thigh, and the whiteness of his leg, and the whiteness of his stomach, and the whiteness of his forearms, and the whiteness of his armpits, and the whiteness of his cheeks. Based on these descriptions, a friend of mine who's a police sketch artist was able to put together a drawing of Muhammad. Have you seen this man? <laughs> kind of blends in with the whiteness of the paper. On a side note, to all my jihadi viewers, I can't figure out if this counts as a cartoon of Muhammad or not, but I don't really care. So, Muhammad was whiter than a bowl of Cool Whip, but when he wasn't busy being scooped onto a slice of apple pie, he was setting an example for his followers by keeping a tight rein on all his black slaves. Sahih al-Bukhari, 72, 63. Narrated Umar, I went to the house of the Prophet, and behold, Allah's messenger was staying in a mashrubah, and a black slave of Allah's messenger was at the top of its stairs. I said to him, Tell the Prophet that here is Umar bin al-Khattab. Then he admitted me. Sahih al-Bukhari, 61-61. Narrated Anas bin Malik, Allah's messenger was on a journey, and he had a black slave called Anjasha, and he was driving the camels very fast, and there were women riding on those camels. Allah's messenger said, Why haka, O Anjasha? Drive slowly the camels with the glass vessels, i.e. the women. Here's one about a black slave who was shot to death while unloading Muhammad's luggage. Sunan Andasai 3858.